Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. Good to be home. Uh, been in Pittsburgh for a week, pretty much. Uh, left last Thursday night. Got back uh, yesterday, so uh, a little bit less than a week. Great time. Saw family. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw lots of pictures of Pittsburgh, and maybe I'll talk a bit about that on Sunday and put a couple pictures in for you guys that aren't Instagram people. Um, but it was a great time. Uh, nothing real exciting in the pipe world. Uh, I did go to Leaf and Bean, had a cigar. That was nice. Uh, yeah, so it was, it was the, the best part about it was getting to see some family that we haven't seen in you know, well over a year. So that was really nice. And uh, I survived the trip relatively intact. <laughs> Took uh, I'm smoking Haunted Bookshop today in my um, Hercules. And took four, four pipes, <clears throat> excuse me, four pipes and one uh, jar of one bookshelf. And that was unusual for me because I'd usually take at least two tobaccos, um, usually Carter Hall and Haunted Bookshop or whatever. Uh, yeah, you know, these days it would probably be Pegasus and Haunted Bookshop, and I'd often take up to four. Uh, this I just decided, no, I'm just going to stick with the one, and it was fine. I enjoyed it. Uh, didn't have a lot of time for pipes, so I pretty much had one in the morning, and once or twice had one in the evening, and that was it. Um, and that's fine. You know, that's what pipe smoking is about. It's not about sneaking out and grabbing a smoke. It's about relaxing when you have the time to relax. But it is always good to be home. And I'm working today. I'm just taking a little break, having some coffee and a pipe. And there's something I wanted to talk about. And, you know, these Wednesday rambles are for me to vent and uh, say whatever the heck is on my mind. And if you don't like it, that's okay. Uh, don't watch. You know, <laughs> don't, don't, get, don't get your blood pressure up on my account. If I'm saying something you don't like, just... Just turn it off. It's fine. And if you like it, great. You know, I, I'm not looking for an argument. I'm just looking to get something off my chest and and maybe be a little bit informative. Maybe. So uh, while I was gone, there was some drama. And, you know, drama is, it happens. Uh, you know, my, the best advice I've ever gotten about drama came from, uh, from our, our buddy Matches, who said, it comes and it goes, just ride the wave, you know, and that's what you do. You just ride the wave. But this one bothered me. Uh, it bothered me a lot, to be honest, because I saw reflected in it a lot of what's going on in our world today that I think is very dangerous. So that's why I want to talk about it, but I'm not even going to, I'm not going to mention the people involved. I'm not going to talk about the actual issue. I just want to talk about the the concepts of what happened and why I see, why I think we need to do a better job of communicating and, and being open and honest with one another. So I've been doing this for, I don't even know, five, six years, something like that. And my guess is that most of you watching this have not been involved in this pipe community for five or six years and that's great because we're growing and, and i love that okay uh but you don't have the same history that i have right so you haven't seen everything that i've seen and you don't know about some of the things that happened in the past and it's probably best that you don't because there's no reason to dig up stuff you know but maybe Maybe there's something important, you know. So, using me as an example, and I'm going to make up something here just, just to get the point across. Uh, let's say you see somebody makes a video and they say, uh, you know, that, that Kane Ron Piper, he, he pays to get his subscription count up. You can, there are these services, you pay him and you get subscribers. Now, yeah, it's not true. If I was going to do that, I'd have more. <laughs> 
I have a higher number than I have. Uh, and and you would probably, I hope, and you know, maybe I'm misjudging you, but I think you would probably be upset to see that. And you, you'd probably argue with that person. Or maybe you'd make a, a video response and say, hey, this isn't true. But you have to listen to that person. You have to listen to them because you don't know everything that happened, right? You haven't been here every single minute. And maybe in the past I did, you know, maybe I didn't, but maybe, maybe I did buy subscribers. And I'm just picking on that because it's, it's one of these things that comes up every once in a while when people have really high subscriber counts. Uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to make sense of those numbers. And you got to realize that people just tap into different parts of the, the community and even outside of the community. So, yeah, it happens. But it's, it's an easy criticism to make. And people have made it in the past. <clears throat> and sometimes have made it stick in the past. Okay? And there's other things, you know, like, oh, he's just trying to get money through monetization or he's trying to sell his business stuff or, you know, whatever. They, they could say all sorts of things about me and they may or may not be true, but it's probably worth listening in case they are true. Like everything else in life, like I've told you repeatedly about any news story that you hear, any political event, anything related to whether or not you should get this injection or that injection, it, do your homework, get all the facts, study, understand, and then make a decision. Dig for the, the, the foundational sources. Don't just take the word of that person or that newscaster. Find out where the information comes from. So that's what you should do. And in this event that occurred uh, last week, I think that's what should have happened. <clears throat> but unfortunately, what happened was, and I'm going to borrow a word from the popular culture. This person's opinion was canceled. Posts were made, videos were made, posts are still being made. Basically trying to make it so that no one thinks what this person brought out. You know, we've we got to silence that. We cannot have anyone discussing. That. To the point where I'm a little uncomfortable making this video because I'm afraid that somebody might sort of decipher what I'm talking about and, and, and attack me for, for what I'm saying. It's okay to disagree. We need to disagree. Um, it's okay to have words, you know, it's okay to get angry. But it's not okay to shut someone down just because you disagree with them. Because you don't know everything. That person might have been saying something that's both true and important that other people need to understand. And this is true in all aspects of life. It's not just pipe drama. I mean, who cares about pipe drama? It's, the world's not going to change its uh, rate of revolution because somebody unsubscribes to somebody. You know, this is all nonsense. This is this is a, a a small portion of a hobby that most of us have, and you know, to get excited about it or anything is. But I think that this is so prevalent in the way we're approaching the world these days that it's important when we see it happening. In this little tiny microcosm of our life, we don't let it happen. We can't let people shut down other people, no matter how unpopular their opinion is. If somebody starts making videos saying, you know, Kane Rod Piper's an idiot and he doesn't know anything about pipe restoration and all he's doing is trying to scam money out of you, one of two things will happen. That person will either become very popular and I will cease to exist here on YouTube, or that person will not become, you know, that person will be largely ignored. And both of those are okay. You know, that's just the, the nature of the world. And, and I think it'll fix itself. I think the right thing would happen. Uh, you know, if I am 
complete shill, I'd go away. If he's a complete idiot, he would go away. <clears throat> it's just these things have a way of correcting themselves. And, it, and the way we correct is we vote with that subscribe button. We vote with our views. We vote with our comments. Uh, don't vote with the thumbs up and thumbs down. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, so that was a lot to unpack, I'm sure, and I'm sure I've confused a lot of people that may not know exactly what I'm talking about here. But it's something that I felt needed to be addressed. And by the way, both people involved in this thing, I consider friends, and I hope they both don't mind me saying that, you know, I, I don't think there was, and, and, and I could see, <clears throat> I could see right and wrong on both sides. You know, it wasn't like one person was just innocently, no, I mean, the, the initial thing, probably not the wisest decision this person ever made. And the response, probably well-intentioned, but the, the way it was done was, was in my opinion, not, not right because it silenced an opinion that, frankly, I think deserves to be heard. All right, let's set that aside, because we've got, coming up on Friday, a fantastic guest. We've got Chris of I'm Just Chris, uh, who used to be the rambling dilettante, but is now just Chris. Uh, join him and myself this Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. We are sure to have a good time. Chris is a wonderful guy. I, I really enjoy Chris. Um, we, I, tr I try to make his live streams. I haven't been able to much lately, but he does a Saturday night live stream that's a lot of fun, and I get to hang out with him sometimes on Google Meetups or whatever they're called, and he, I just I really like Chris. I enjoy his company. So I'm looking forward to having uh, a full hour to uh, to get to know him a bit better. So I hope you'll uh, you'll join us this Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. There'll be a post coming up soon, probably later this afternoon, so that you can uh, hit that notification bell and know when it's happening. All right, folks, I'm going to finish up my haunted bookshop. I'm going to go back to work, and I'm going to hope nobody tries to cancel me. Take care, and we'll talk soon.